Hey Divas! Coming to you with a few little projects that I've been working on. I have a few videos I have to do today. So for my tags, for my design team, and just because. So <clears throat> they're pretty short videos, just of a few things. Oh, and I'm also doing a little tutorial per request of one of my super fab subbies. And that's on how to do those felt bows. So a lot of you girls probably already like, yeah, I already know how to do that. Well, some girls don't. So it's super easy and I'm going to do a little quick um, tutorial on that in a little bit. So let me just show you a few of the little projects that I made. Now I showed you guys last, um, a few days ago, the envelope ones. Well, I just finished deciding, um, bedazzling this bad boy out. And I just wanted to make sure I showed a video on it. So I used my hibiscus punch, you know, I did a few layers, and then this is just one of those flowers that you, you know, the little silky type flowers you buy, and I always cut the heads off of the bouquets, and um, it's a perfect orange color to go with everything else. I so love orange, I'm just loving this. And then I just added a little simple stick pin, and bling, swirl, flourish. I have a little tiny flower punch and I just double layered the little flowers, put little blings in the middle. This is the Martha Stewart punch that's back here. I did it on white cardstock. These are some wheat sprays that I had in my stash that I got from the expo last year. And then this little fuzzy trim right here I got from um, Patricia from Tube U Master One. Hi Patricia! Yeah, I was already dipping in the stuff she sent me. And here's some flat white white flat back pearls and I just added that. I have not made the card to go inside yet. I will do that and then I'm going to add a hibiscus flower like this one but not it won't be um, lifted up and I'm going to put that back here and then that'll seal the deal and then I'll go put it in my stash for when I need it so there's no sentiments or anything on that. Um, I would have to wait until I know who I'm going to give it to for whatever reason. Okay now um, Patricia had sent me some yarn um, pretty yarn is a, some as a gift in my bucket of gifts. So I told you ladies that I was going to make flowers out of them. So yes, I did. Okay. Here's one. Tell me that's not super fabby. Oh my gosh. Love it. <laughs> okay. So this was the gray one. Here's the back. Okay. I just finished it off with a little one inch circle punch. And this right here is just like doing a Gatsby flower for you ladies. It's just the same technique as you would do a Gatsby flower. And that's pretty much getting it and, oh, I don't have it with me, and wrapping it around like six, seven times. Then you take it off. Then you hold it in the middle and you tie something in the middle. So it almost looks like a bow. And then um, you tie it really tight with something thin, not too thick so that it you start opening it and it starts creating the circle and it looks like it's everywhere so um that's how that's done then I got this little thin lace and I did the same thing but I did it the opposite direction because when you create the Gatsby flower it almost looks like a bow and you're trying to make it look like a circle because once you tie it in the middle there's like a, a gap let me see if I can sh if it'll show the gap or else I glued it like, okay, this would have been the gap. Let's do it this way. This would have been the gap where the bow began. Okay? But of course, you know, you fluff it to try to close up that, that area. So on that side, I grabbed this and I did it on the opposite direction. So it just looks full all the way around. And these I did a while ago. I just happened to have it already made in my stash. And it happens to be gray and it happens to match the gray um, yarn. Love it. And that's just twisted fabric from an old shirt that I had that I was going to toss out and I'm like oh my gosh I could totally use it so I kept the fabric. This right here is beads that I um, that I used wire on and I slid through and I just twisted it and put this in the middle so they're not glued on individually. It's, there's a wire running through it. Okay so that's one of the flowers I made and I used the whole thing. The yarn that Patricia gave me I used the whole thing. So that's one flower. Okay, this is two using one of the felt ribbon bow or the yeah felt bows. Okay, using the buckle 16 um, millimeter um, half flat back. And look at this one. This one's um, it's like a dark gray into like a little bit of a lighter and then white. Okay, and it's finished just the same in the back. 
And then that's super fabby. Love it. Okay, and this was the last one she gave me. This one's black and cream. So I just used, used <laughs> alright, let's try English again. <laughs> I used some black um, beaded pearls. I'm surprised I had these. I don't have enough black. I totally need to get some more black and flat black um, pearls in black. So I actually found some of this, so it must have been gifted to me from some fabby lady. Oh, I think actually it was Patricia. Huh. Okay. And this right here came out of a vintage button stack. And then this right here is a button that I cut the shank off of and I just adhered it to this and this is adhered to this. And it's just finished the same in the back. Oops, I have hot glue webs. And so this one is how this one is finished. Okay, and it's all using the same technique, like using, like if you're going to do a Gatsby flower, except you're, um, you're using ribbon, or, I'm sorry, yarn. And this was really pretty, so I totally wanted to use that. So those are my three flowers. Okay, and so I just wanted to show you ladies that I did those. Yay! Okay, and um, that's it for the little tiny projects. I'm going to be back with the really quick tutorial, and then I'm going to get to my other project. So I have to hurry. All right, ladies, thank you so much for stopping by. Have a fabby day.